Hi, everyone from all over the world. My name is David Reed Marr, and I'm chair of the Visual Arts Department. Welcome to the Visual Arts Culmination. Before I talk about my favorite subject, the transformative power of art and how it is exemplified in our students and the work they've done this year, I'd like our extraordinary visual arts faculty to introduce themselves. Linda, you go first. Thanks, David. Hi, everyone. My name is Linda Santana, and this is the end of my seventh year at Idlewild Arts. Um, I teach what I love here, which is all levels of printmaking, including woodcut, etching, and lithography, um, as well as metal smithing and jewelry design, senior seminar, and sometimes I teach drawing and watercolor. Um, I also work in the dorms, and I'm looking forward to strengthening bonds with returning students um, and to working with uh, new students and getting to know you guys. Thanks, Linda. Christy? Hi everyone, I'm Christy Scott and I'm finishing up my second year full time with Idlewild Arts in the Visual Arts Department. I also I teach art fundamentals, all sections of art fundamentals to our first year freshmen and sophomores. And I also manage our campus gallery parks exhibition center, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Good to see everyone. Thank you, Christy. Um, Melissa. Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Melissa Wilson. This is my 20th year or the end of my 20th year at Idlewild Arts Academy. Um, can't say enough about how much I love teaching here. I teach all levels of computer graphics and I teach yearbook and the kids built an amazing book this year. So uh, welcome and thank you. Great. Thank you, Melissa. Okay, Rachel. Hello. Um, hi. Uh, I actually started here as a, a student in the summer program and then wor started working in the summer program about 20 years ago, like Melissa, and then moved into the academy about probably 17 years ago. And I teach uh, painting, drawing, and art history and love building a community with the students and learning about each person and where their strengths are and how they just grow and blossom um, as artists and as people while they're with us. So I continue to hope to have that experience um, in so many different ways now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Shauna. Hi, everybody. My name is Shauna Lear and I'm finishing up my seventh year uh, like Linda. And I teach every level of photography in the visual arts department. I also work in the inner arts department and I teach fashion photography and um, senior portfolio review and um, interdisciplinary minds. Um, I love what I do and I love working with the students um, and I'm looking forward to next year. Thank you, Shona. All right, Chris. Hi, everyone. My name is Chris Groth. I teach senior seminar with Linda and Maisie. I teach sculpture classes and I teach creative technology. Uh, this is my second year at Idlewild Arts, my first year as an online teacher. Um, <laughs> and I can't wait to see you all again. Great, thank you, Chris. Jasmine? Hmm. Hello, I'm Jasmine Peck. I teach all levels of ceramics and animation. I also am a dorm parent in Pearson. Great, great. And Kyle. Hi, everybody. I'm Kyle Thomas. I teach drawing, painting, and the art of murals. I'm also a dorm parent in small dorms, and I'm an alum of Idlewild Arts Class of 2000. Great. Thank you, Kyle. And last but not least, Maisie. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Maisie Luo, and I graduated uh, from Ottawa Arts in 2015. This year, I'm an AEL intern, and I taught two drawing classes as well as senior seminar with Linda and Chris, and I was a hush dorm parent. Great. Thank you, Maisie. Well, this is my 22nd year. I can't believe it. 22 years. Anyway, as you can imagine, this has been a really interesting year with some significant challenges. 
But thanks to the resilience and creativity of the faculty and students and the breadth and depth of the program, it again turned out to be a clear validation of the power of art and arts education. I have had many meaningful interactions with students over these last few weeks of Zooming, which was totally unexpected. But one in particular stands out. I asked a student what painting meant to him and he replied, truthfulness. For him, it meant seeing his difficult circumstances in an unflinching way, assimilating it through his art and then moving on. When I was doing graduate work, I had a teacher, his name was Bill Turnbull. He was a sculpture teacher, but he also taught painting. And uh, one day I, 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 I spoke with him and I said, I, I, I have this huge artist block, what can I do? And he said, and I said, it feels, like a, it feels like a brick wall. And he said, well, paint the brick wall. So I spent the next three months obsessively painting the brick wall. And gradually, as I did that process, it dissipated. So much of my teaching and the way I live my life comes from this inter interaction, from this interaction and what followed and points to the responsibility and opportunity we have as teachers. So with that, I've asked some of the faculty to say something about their experiences and later to introduce a series of videos of students talking about their work and then a slideshow of department work from this year. But first, Linda Santana, who will be taking over from me as chair next year, is gonna say something. Congratulations, Linda. Thank you, David. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, so hello everyone. Um, I'm very excited to take on the role of visual arts chair next school year. Um, following in the footsteps of incredible artists like Greg Kennedy and David Reedmar. Um, I'm honored to serve our extraordinary students in the department in a new and different capacity um, and to work with such caring and dedicated faculty. Um, this, <laughs> this devoted group of educators is so deeply invested in you, our students and it shows in the work that's been created. There are so many variables and unknown that, unknowns that we're facing, but I really trust in Idlewild Arts and its mission and dedication to the, um, to the arts. Uh, seeing what our students have achieved during this time of remote learning with guidance from their instructor, instructors has been truly inspiring and has made all of us think in new and innovative ways. Um, as a department and as faculty, we are dedicated to our community and the to the transmission of knowledge and ideas, to your personal growth as students and to the love of art that brings us all together. So thank you so much for tuning in and I really look forward to the next chapter at Wild Arts. Thank you, Linda. Great. Christy. Hi everyone. I just wanted to share a little bit about the gallery, Parks Exhibition Center, which is a central part of the visual arts program in the Idlewild Arts campus. Um, we, it, if you've ever visited Idlewild Arts, which I hope you have, then you've probably dropped into the gallery. It's a lovely space and it supports both the academic and summer programs. The ac academic year, September through May, has the majority of our shows. And this year we were so thrilled to share nine exhibits that showcased upwards of 80 artists. That's students, faculty, and we also invite artists from all over the world to bring their mediums and their backgrounds and their processes to share with our campus community. So Parks Exhibition Center is this invaluable educational tool that is really unique to a high school arts experience um, because it teaches us to embody that, that full spectrum of what it means to be an artist and a student learning in their craft from that initial skill development in the studio that our freshmen and sophomores experience when they join us and later on as they immerse themselves in their craft as they take advanced classes and finishing up as seniors as they envision and prepare and present their artwork in a capstone exhibit. This year with three senior shows, um, we were so thrilled to bring forth their ideas and their plans. And even though we could not formally celebrate that third show, 
As a faculty, we made it happen to install their work after they had left. And we look forward to sharing it and opening it to the community and the world when we return in the fall. So again, we're very, we're just so pleased to be able to work with all of our students and to share the visual arts department's creative talents through that professional forum. And we look forward to opening it up and bringing in that exchange of art and ideas as soon as we can. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. It's been a great year. Thank you so much, Christy. Um, Maisie, you're up. Um, hi, everyone. So this year, um, I taught drawing one at senior seminar and being able to teach the two classes at the same time, I was able to see and being a part of how our visual arts program and the faculty help young artists find their own voices, find what they care for, and be able to express that and their visions through art, which is such a unique and liberating process for one to experience at this young age. As a painter myself, I know that making art requires a lot of self-motivation and for the students being able to experience that self-motivation rooted in their own passion and love is something that I believe will benefit them in whatever paths they choose to go on in the future. Uh, being a student and experiencing the program myself, I definitely experienced the growth and the self-motivation and the agency uh, as a four-year visual arts student. And that has definitely helped me tremendously uh, onward. Um, as one of the senior seminar instructors, along with Lynn and Chris, I had such a special opportunity to work with the seniors on their senior show at the gallery. I could literally feel the growth and the sense of agency that each senior gained from going through the whole process of developing their ideas uh, for their senior shows and to make them and show their visions in the gallery. Um, seeing that growth and that accomplishment of our students gives me so much motivation as a teacher and also as an artist uh, because that contains so much liveliness and possibilities and a lot of intense, beautiful emotions. Um, I learned so much about teaching uh, by working with the students and seeing their growth. Um, it's amazing to be able to work the, with this amazing group of faculty because everybody here, every faculty spent so much time and effort and their heart to make sure that each student find their unique path and that we can create a supportive and diverse community for the students' growth and for them to share their own growth and reflections with their peers. Um, so I was very thankful to be a part of this community. We are so thankful to have you be here. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, so now, uh, Chris, you're gonna introduce the uh, videos and the slideshow. Um, yes, so um, if all of the faculty members could please stop their video and mute their audio, that would be wonderful. The first video we're going to show, Maisie, helped put together with students reflecting on this year. So for those who may not know me, hi, my name is Veronica, but I usually go by Ronnie. I'm a three year junior and a visual arts major. This year I had the amazing opportunity to take a class that I've been wanting to take since my freshman year. That class is yearbook. Yearbook has been such an amazing experience for me. It's pushed me in so many different ways. It's tested my work ethic, my time management, composition, color theory, typography, and so many other things that apply to both the arts and the real world. 
I also had the amazing opportunity to design the cover for this year's yearbook. Unfortunately, due to us having to leave early, we didn't have a chance to pass out the finished product. The whole yearbook team worked really hard on it, and I hope that you all enjoy it once we can get it to you. Print making has played a very important role in my high school experience. I've learned so many different techniques and types of print making over the span of four years. In the beginning, we started off using linoleum, then woodcut. These are a type of relief print where you carve away the plate. Then we move on to intaglio, which is engraving. And one of the projects that I can remember is aqua tinting. It's where you dip the plate into acid to get different shades. For me, I had the opportunity to learn all these types of printmaking, but mezzotinting is my favorite. It's a more evolved type of engraving where you rock the plate for hours and it creates these little holes for the ink to sit in so the paper can soak it up and create a very beautifully textured and rich piece of art. In the simplest terms that I can think of, it's when you rub charcoal on a piece of paper and slowly erase it with an eraser, but instead of charcoal, it's ink on metal backwards. Hi, this is Silent Lee. I miss my friends and I also miss all the VA teachers. I remember that I worked on my sculpture in Miller even though I did not have a sculpture class. I made a fog house that represents homesickness and emptiness. There were some difficulties in the process, but I enjoyed making the piece. It's sad that I didn't have a chance to do my next planned project in classes. I hope we can go back to IODL in August. Hi, my name is May. I'm a four-year senior in the visual arts department. Um, my time at Oddworld has been extremely impactful because without it, I wouldn't have discovered my love for photography. My goal with my work is to be able to capture emotions and relay that to my audience. Uh, with photography, I think a lot of what makes an image special is the authenticity of that emotion, especially in portraits, which is mostly what I do. Uh, ways I work to achieve this is by communicating and having those conversations so that the feelings that are in my work are more present and genuine. Um, I'm definitely inspired by the people around me and the relationships that I have with not only my friends and my family but also the rest of the world and how I see myself in the world is something that's really important to me in exploring. Um, I'm really grateful for my time at Adult Arts because I've learned how to have my own voice in, and how to translate my voice into my art so that it makes a bigger impact and yeah, I'm really thankful for that. Hi everyone, um, this is Jay. I'm currently in Seoul, Korea, just drawing stuff and then, you know, just work on stuff that I can do in here. Um, I One day I had a um, drawing of subway with the people wearing masks and just trying to be uh, careful in the transportation. Um, my observing skill have been improved a lot in Idlewild Arts that um, I can draw more detailed stuff or I can um, observe the stuff that, um, that I haven't focused on. I think that's uh, what we can do in here, that we can focus about our home country and then um, try to do things that we can do here. Um, it is definite that I really miss Idlewild Arts, the nature and then the people that I, I really miss there. Um, and then the studios and then the teachers that we had uh, um, classes with. It is, I, I haven't noticed that I can't really do like a big paintings or big drawings around my home, um, that I really miss studio. Um, and that I think I really appreciate the things that we have learned and that was in, in Idlewild Arts. I really hope you guys are doing well. Um, please be safe and then see you next time. All right, as we get the next video together, um, the faculty of the visual arts department put together a slideshow of student work from this year. And we would like to um, we would like to share this with you. Uh, the audio from this next video was composed by Jeremy Shu, 
one of our uh, graduating seniors. And I just wanted to share a little bit about the experience uh, this video as Jasmine and I and your other teachers put this together. Um, we were constantly wiping back tears as we as we worked on this video um, because we miss you. Uh, we've been working from home, sometimes occasionally getting into the studios to get things for our students to clean up. And um, it's lonely, and I'm sure you've felt a little bit lonely in quarantine as well. Um, and the studios miss you, Jay, and they miss you, everyone else. Uh, this is due to all the work that we've put in in these places, the community that we've built, the time we've spent together. So thank you and congratulations on the culmination of this school year. And we miss you and we hope you enjoy the video.
Wow. Wow. You know, as chair, I, I, I can't always allow myself to really appreciate what's going on here because of my responsibilities, but um, I'm certainly appreciating it right now and appreciating the teachers, most certainly, and the kids for producing such amazing art. You know, every, every one of those pieces has a story behind it, a story of... Uh, vulnerability and hard work and sweat and uh, fun and it's the whole life thing and that's what I always say you know it is about our lives and if it's not reflected in our art it has no well it has less value so um just beautiful thank you uh Chris and Jasmine and Maisie for putting that together it's just a wonderful memory for me of of Idlewild Arts and uh 
what we do so well and what has such power. Oh my God, such power. I mean, I, I come to, I do really miss the studio. I'm, I'm, back, I'm going back to what you said, Chris. I miss being in the studios. We've all expressed this, you know, just that those uh, whole person interactions that are so important for what we do. You know what I mean? I mean, this is a temporary situation. I hope it's a temporary situation. And uh, next year it'll be some sort of hybrid, I'm sure, but there'll be more sort of active one-to-one -one teaching, which is what we're so brilliant at and what the kids uh, respond to so well. Um, yeah, there's nothing, if I'm, I mean, I'm gonna miss a lot of things when I retire, but the one thing I think I'll miss more than anything else is just coming into Adeloa after a weekend and seeing what the kids have done. You know, just seeing, just being blown away by how brilliant they are and how how open they are and how more how they've become more open as the year progresses. It's a beautiful thing to watch. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and being here. And uh, we will definitely see you next year. And we'll also see you at uh, baccalaureate, which is on Thursday, and graduation on Friday. Anyway. We love you. Thank you.